Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. It is make your own Shopkin time today. This is so cute. I saw this in the shop and I thought we have to try it out. These are little teeny tiny Shopkins that you make yourself. They're called Poppet. They're from the Moose Toys brand. And you make them out of this really light air drying clay. Feels kind of like foam. And you pop them out and well, you make your own Shopkins. <laughs> it doesn't get much cooler than that. So we'll open it up, we'll see all the pieces that are in here and then we might squeeze some little Shopkins out of these molds and see how it all works. So it comes with some clay, let's see. So this is called clay, which is interesting. Look, it says immediately place clay in resealable bag to avoid drying out and to prevent clay drying out. So let's open it up. And in here we've got this pellet, this little squish. Look at that, that came out so easily. And this is as light as air. It is so light, very malleable. It feels nice. It doesn't leave any residue on my fingers like real clay would. And it smooths out, it kind of feels like Oh, like rubbery plastic it's some sort of fancy polymer that those moose toys people have made but it's cool but apparently it dries out really quickly so <laughs> we're gonna make sure we get these tops on properly though I don't know how quickly it goes we'll have to see wow here's some purple this is all squished into the packet how am I gonna get this out it is going to require a whole heap of fingernail scraping I think Right, let's take this away and get the rest out. There we go. So we've got uh, dark pink, purple, light pink, and there's one more that comes in this set. This is the ballet set. And it's got all these little accessories. There's handbag handles and a little ballerina. And ooh, we've got three ballerinas, so we can make three of that, and little tiaras, lots and lots of eyeballs, a piano keyboard. Look at these eyeballs. Ha, <laughs> so many Shopkins eyeballs. Wow, okay. So there's our accessories, and we also get these teensy wincy little gems. Look how small they are. Little pink shiny pieces to really bling up our Shopkins. Brilliant! Okay, let's move them all over here. The gems are trying to stick to my fingers already. And we'll get our first mold out. So this is a 3D mold. We're gonna make too, too cute by the look of it. So we're squeezing in a little ball of the white clay. And the instructions say to try and make it as flat as possible. So we'll see how we go. And it's very elastic. It keeps pushing itself back away from my fingers. Squeeze the two parts together. They will squish together in the middle. And ta-da! Look at that! It's a tutu, it's a tutu cute. So we'll carefully get off these excess pieces around the side. It's not too hard. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that little shopkin. And on the back are these little bubbles because obviously we need a bit of release space. They're little holes in the back of the mold, but we can squish them down with the spatula here. This is all provided. There, and I've got a bit of purple on the side. That must have still been on my fingernails from when I or scraped out all the rest of that purple clay. But that's okay, I'll show you what I'm gonna do in a minute. I've put the excess back away in the container so it doesn't dry out. <laughs> so important. Right, we need eyeballs. So there's one little Shopkin eyeball and we'll press the other one in. <laughs> that is too, too cute. Except, hold on, they don't, they don't line up very well. I think that these eyeballs might be left and righties and I'm gonna have to have a look and see whether I can make sure I... No, it just looks a little bit weird. <laughs> I'm so sorry, too, too cute. We'll get the right eyes for you in a moment, I'm sure. You'll be too, too cute when we are finished with you. That looks good, I like that. Now I've also bent the top of the tutu over a bit there. Let's, there we go. Still nice and malleable. Now this is one of the popper outer molds and there's a bow on it. So let's get a little bit of the purple out and we'll squash it down flat with our spatula. And can you see how it's, it squeaks, squeaks, squeezes back up on itself? Like I said, it's very elastic. It comes, comes back into itself. So here's our bow and we've put it on our popper thing and we need to just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the air through until it pops out. So we've got a bit there and that way it'll hold its shape rather than me trying to squish it out with my fingers. So now too, too cute is even more more cute. Ah, and, if, <laughs> and if we want to stick things on even more, we can add just a teeniest drop of water and it makes it like glue, but that's a bit too much water. That's going to make it very slippery. 
but that's okay it will dry out very soon look look at that too too cute with too too cute's little bar oh oh a little too oh hold on i haven't put the lid on the purple clay i've been too excited let's put too too cute up here so that actually no we won't we'll put it down here because we're probably going to need to use that purple clay again all right next 3d mold who is this going to be We'll squeeze it into one side. You really want to have a good amount of clay in here so you can get some good definition. You can see all the little features on it. It's going to be a bit hard to see in white, but let's see. Oh, look at that. That's, well, that's music box, I think. Oh, we're going to have to be really careful getting the edge overlap here off because there's little music box hands on the side. Let's see if I can get it off. There, did I squash anything? And all that detail on the back, even though we've got all the little all the little blobs on the back too, let's see if we can squash them down and not squash down the detail with the little heart and the music notes on this cute little music box. There we are. Wow. <laughs> oh, stand up flat. So you can see they're kind of rubbery. Did I already say they're like a foam? So they'll dry to a very a hard foam. Not a very hard foam, a hard foam. And the drying time is about uh, four hours and then 24 hours if you really want to throw them around the room and try and bounce them off the walls. <laughs> then they're really dry. So eyeballs, eyeballs for music box. <laughs> music box looks a bit sad with the eyes faced in that direction. That one's trying to get out again. And she gets the ballerina in the middle oh this is so gorgeous her eyes a little bit skew if but that's okay and maybe we'll try a little bit of pink just to try and pick up some of these accents on the front let's see how i go it's such a tiny piece my fingers feel huge when i'm trying to do these little tiny pieces <laughs> how did i go that's not straight and your eyes are coming out your eyes are popping out music box <laughs> yeah, hold on. There we go. If I turn them around, you won't look so sad. Now you look happier. And now that looks much better. Just took a little bit of poking and prodding. That's so cute. Who's next? This is, I think this is Lippy. Let me see. We need to put two pieces together for this. So first our pink, our dark pink into the 3D mold. We'll squeeze it down. And there. Oh, hold on, that's not the best of definition. Let's see. We'll take all this off. Try not to squeeze little arms off, little hands off. <laughs> oh, there we go. We'll just poke down the little bits at the back. And uh, maybe some eyeballs for you. Let me see if I can match some up for you having a really hard time trying to find matching eyeballs here. Maybe I should have sorted them out to start with. There. I don't know. I think you look a bit like a cross lippy. <laughs> kind of cross. What do you think? Do you think lippy looks cross? <laughs> You'll have to tell me in the comments. But we do need to put the actual lipstick bit on the top of lippy. So we've got one of these molds. This is pretty cool. I haven't tried this before. So we squeeze the clay in. Lots of squeezing. Put it in our popping machine, our popping tool. It's not a machine. I have to machine it. And ready, we're going to go squeeze, 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 squeeze. Come on, let's go. And it's popped out. Where did it go? There it is. And it's got some of those little holes on the top. The little bobbles on the top will flatten them down. Now we have a lipstick for the top. We might put a dab of water on here to help it stick down. It really does adhere well. It's not like normal clay where you have to really mold it in to make them stick. Once you put the water on, it kind of activates it like glue. So it will stick well. But I like to give it a bit of a squeeze and a bit of a, a bit of a twist and it holds on nicely like that. There we are. And maybe, just maybe Lippy will cheer up a bit <laughs> if I uh, if I give Lippy a bow. Would you like a bow, Lippy? I don't know. I just think she's looking at me really crossly. <laughs> Maybe she's had a bad day. Okay, a little bow. We'll try and cheer you up with a bow. Bows make everybody happy. So a lovely white bow for you. 
We'll put that on the front, a little bit of oh, those eyes, a little bit of water there. Now, if you can get just the tiniest bit of water on, it's much easier. It holds on much better initially, and it means it doesn't slip and slide everywhere. So I'll see if I can get the tiniest bit. No, that was too much on the top for the gem, but that's okay. We just have to wait for it to dry a bit and make sure our gem doesn't slide before it actually sets into position. But that's cute, even if she does look cross. There you are, Lippy. <laughs> Let's do the next one. Yay, this is so exciting. Okay, purple. I love this purple, such a lovely, strong color. So let me see who we have here. Squeeze together. Another 3D mold. There's lots of molds in this activity set. Lots of little bobbles on the back. Let's flatten them down as best we can. There. That's not very convincing, but that's okay. We'll just look at the front. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> this is Piano Man. And Piano Man is the best of the lot so far, I think. Maybe just because, because um, he's in purple. And his eyes and his mouth definition are really clear. And he gets heaps of accessories. So he gets a keyboard. So a keyboard for you, Mr. Music Man. Let's try and put this on without squashing up here. Good, that held its shape pretty well. And some oh, matching eyes. Let me sort through them. These ones look okay. How about this one there? And this one here. <laughs> yeah, Music Man is my favorite so far. And though hold on not not convinced by that eye let's let's swap it out for another one look at that big hole that leaves there that's all right we can just put another one in and twist it around squish it in that looks a bit better now you look slightly less wonky <laughs> piano man looks happy how on earth does lippy just look cross okay piano man also gets a little tiara on the top a little music stand on the top now that's very cute. Let's put our excess purple away because I want to use that later because it's so nice. Look at these four. Let's move these around so we can mix the colours up. They're looking so spiffy. This is fun. This is the most fun I've had ever making my own Shopkins. <laughs> very cute. Now, all right, all right, who do we have here? More purple, which I think means it's going to turn out very well. I'm going to try something a bit tricky here and I'm going to try to put a little bit of pink in for the mouth where the lips are and trying to get it in just the right place is <laughs> almost an impossible feat. But we'll squash it down, squash it down with the purple and see whether I get it in the right spot. So let me see how I went. Are you ready? <laughs> Don't have very high hopes. Oh, okay. Way too much. That just looks silly. Right. Let's try again. No, that just looks rubbish. Right. Pull it all apart. Start all over again. Too easy peasy. And oh, no, hold on, now your eye looks weird. Look at that, now your eye's stretched out. Third time lucky. One ball here, another ball here. This is such nice clay to touch and now you've got perfect eyes. So we'll take off the excess, squash down your little bumps on the back and you're very, very cute, Duffer. And you, you get, we'll put the purple away, you get some accessories too. So you get a handle or is it, is it an embellishment? Is it braid down the front or is it a handle for the duffel bag? I don't know. There you are, duffer. Whatever it is, it looks almost like a fancy crown. Some little eyeballs. Let's see how I got matching them. I'll try not to make you look too cross. Poor Lippy. I feel sorry for Lippy. How are we going? Oh no, you look very cute. We've done an excellent job with those eyes. Now, Duffer also gets some gems. Lots of bling down the side. Bling, one up here. And bling, another one here. And I put too much water on, so they're a bit slippery. So I'll make sure I go back and check to make sure they haven't slid down too far. Just the tiniest dot is all you need. Teeniest, tiniest bit one more to match underneath see that's the perfect amount of water I can barely move that now because it's stuck fast really quickly 
there. Duffer looks all decked out and ready to party. That's so gorgeous. If you would like to sit over here next to Tutu Cute, we've got room for one more. Now, who is this? I'm using the pink here, trying to flatten it out as much as possible. Squeezing it down. Squash those little knobbly bits down. And I don't know, who is this? Oh, it's one of the ballet shoes. I think it might be teeny one. Here you go, you can have some eyes. Kind of hard to tell what this one is. This just looks a bit, kind of looks a bit like a Muppet. I don't know why teeny one looks like a Muppet when I make it out of clay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, maybe you need a bow. Here, you can have a bow. Mm, let's see, that might be a bit, bit thin. Let me see. Nice light pink bow. We'll puff this out. We'll pop it out. Uh, that's too thin. See, I've already deformed the top of that bow there just by picking it up. So let's add a little bit more clay to this and squish it down gently. And that's better. That's going to be heaps better. Pop it out. That even came out easier. And now it's just right. So let's stick you on the top of teeny one. Your eyes are trying to pop out of your head or out of your shoe. <laughs> And maybe you need a gem as well. Very, very sneaky little pink gem that keeps trying to get away. There. Oh, that's cute. Your eyes popping out though. Just going to try and add a bit more definition in here. So you've got all these markings on the side of your tool as well, but I just don't know whether I want to add them to our little Shopkins. I think they're a bit perfect as they are. Check them out. What do you think? Do you like this cool clay? Well, light air drying clay. It is cool to work with, I suppose. And we've got lots and lots and lots of accessories left now. We've built one of each mold, but we could still do two more duffers and two more music boxes. And we've got a good amount of clay left. We can even make them in different colors. So they're cute. I'm going to have lots of fun with this. I might have to go and see if I can find some more poppet sets. I've even made a pink tutu cute. Can you see her? She is so very too, too cute. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Please click subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Check out some of my other silly videos. I'm going to see you again for a new one very, very soon.